Watching TV while hungry, Sky took it upon herself at six years old to get herself some cookies. Without asking anyone for help, she tried to open the cookies with a knife. Then bam, there's blood gushing out of her finger. Traumatized, little Sky ran to her mother and was taken to the hospital. I'm Kais Haynes, and today we are here with Sky Eccles to talk about her cookie mishap. Welcome, Sky. Hi. Hi. Now, Sky, why didn't you ask someone for help to open the cookies? Okay, so it was past my bedtime, and I was not supposed to be eating snacks at, that late at night. Mm -hmm. And plus, everyone room door was closed, and no one wanted to answer me. So, <laughs> okay, where were the cookies? It was like in a top, like the top counter, high, high up, where I had to get a stool, step onto the stool, onto the counter to grab the cookies and come right back down. Right back, okay. How, like, the knife you had, how big was it, like? Uh, it was like this big. It was like, it wasn't a butter knife, it was mm -hmm. just like a, a knife that you actually cut with, like oh, a sharp knife. A sharp like, knife? Yes. <laughs> okay. What was your thought process while you were opening the cookies? To grab the cookies, <laughs> to hold the knife in my hand, to stick the knife through the bag so I could rip it open, but that didn't go as planned. <laughs> okay, so you cut your finger. So once you cut your finger, how long did you wait until you told someone? I waited like two minutes until it started like really hurting because I didn't want to like tell my mom or anything because she'd be like, why did you get in cookies at this late at night? So I just took it upon myself to open the cookies. Okay, so when you told your mom, what did she do? Like, did she yell at you or? Uh, so she yelled at me for like two seconds, then she ran to get like a hot rag so mm -hmm. like I could put it on my hand while we like go to the hospital. And then she was just like cursing me out on the <laughs> way to the hospital because mm -hmm. she told me, why would I do that? Again? <laughs> just. Okay, so once you got in the car, how were you feeling? Like were you emotional, scared? I was scared because I didn't know like what the doctor would tell my mom that I needed to be done or anything. I just like cut myself and I just, I didn't know what to do. I was just traumatized. <laughs> just like. On a scale from 1 to 10, how bad was your pain and why? It was a 10. <laughs> it, it was a 10 because it was a sharp knife and I like cut my hand, like through my, like cut, like my hand, like it was a sharp knife. <laughs> so when you did it, was this the first time you ever experienced this type of pain? Mm, nah, it's nothing like getting hit in the head with a softball. So. <laughs> Actually, well, yeah. Actually, yeah. 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 Okay. So once you got to the hospital, what happened while you were there? Uh, so I checked in with the lady that be in the front desk. She questioned me when she should have like really tried to hurry up to get me to the back to see the doctor. She kept questioning me about how I cut my hand. She just, yeah. <laughs> so did you get stitches or like what happened? So I had to get stitches because it was like a really bad cut and it was open and it, kept, it was getting more infected the more I didn't have anything like to cover it up or anything. So. Okay, so once you got them, how were you feeling? Uh, it hurt a little bit, but they put me to sleep, but it's, I still felt the pain in my hand. Okay, <laughs> once you woke up, got your stitches, like what were you thinking? Like what? I was just thinking like I should have never done this because I just, it didn't look, it didn't look good on my hand because they always told me snitches get stitches and that's what turned out to be the case. <laughs> so who'd you snitch on? Like, mm, I used to snitch on my brother a lot because he used to do crazy things that just made me mad and he used to force me to do a lot of things that I didn't want to do. Uh, so. Okay, so after you got your stitches, went to the hospital. Once you got home, what'd you do? Mm, the cookies were still on the floor. I picked up the cookies. I threw them away. I got cursed out, I had to go in my room, couldn't watch TV or anything, and just had to sit on the bed and watch the walls. <laughs> okay, did you get any special treatment? I'm guessing no. No, I didn't get any special treatment. I got a special yell at, I got yelled at all day, every, just like all day. Okay. <laughs> How, this has this little, like this effect, uh, accident affect your perspective on cookies? Yes, I don't like cookies anymore. Like, if they're not soft cookies where I can easily open, where I can like get a hold of, I don't want them. Like, <laughs> I don't. Okay, thank you, Sky, for your wonderful story. I'm Kais Haynes, and we're signing off. Bye. <laughs>